What's up guys, it's Nashcrafter and welcome to my channel for a brand new episode of our Let's Play Vanilla Minecraft series. So we're still here in 1.11.2 and we're going to be moving to 1.12 very soon. So I want to get a bunch of early game stuff out of the way before 1.12 hits. So that's what we're going to be working on in today's episode. Now I do have quite a bit of stuff that I need to show you guys before we get started. Uh, not too much, just a little bit. And it should be pretty quick, but today's episode is going to be loads and loads of fun. I'm really excited for the build we're going to be doing in today's episode. It's something I've never done before, but I've always wanted to do. So I think you guys will like it. And we are just right outside our house. Let me take this bread out so you guys can see a little better. So we're right here in front of our starter house. So this is the area. If you guys haven't seen the last couple of episodes, this is the area we picked for our starter village type place and it's really really awesome I'm liking it so far now there is a few things that I wanted to show you guys I made out some pathways back here so we just had this little patch and I expanded it off in this direction and also this direction so we'll go this way first and you guys can probably see this little house here next to me we'll get to that in just a second I just made this little path that I was talking about in the last episode I wanted to kind of make this go to the back of the farms so you guys can see these are our wheat farms and again we did this in the last episode so if you guys missed it um, I highly suggest checking out that episode because it was lots and lots of fun so then I did this trick a lot of other people do this too it's just really nice for a transition block and uh, I just put wood in between each of these and it gives this really nice transition so we don't have to hop up any blocks which is super nice so then moving over here, I did the same thing and we made this path in the last episode. It kind of runs right along here. And then right over here is our mini, mini, tiny pumpkin area, which I think looks pretty cool. It turned out awesome. And all I did was add like two more pumpkins, so nothing too exciting. And then again, another smooth transition up into this little house. So this is kind of an interesting little shack type thing. Now I said I was going to do this in the last episode, but we ended up running out of time. So I didn't get to build this, but I did build it off camera and I think it looks pretty cool. Now it's just little, it's super simple, but I wanted to fit it in with the rest of the builds in this area. So I think it looks pretty cool. I have my little crafting station here just in case. And then this is what the inside of the build looks like. So I've just got some little plants. Um, it's just grass. But I think it works with the farms next door. And this is just holding, I think I put, yeah, I put some wheat in here. And then there's some potatoes and some carrots. So it's just a little place to store food from our farms. I also made this a little bit smoother of a transition right over here. So it kind of goes down into our farms a little bit better and this part too so we don't have to hop up. I did move my animals over here. They were up by our house and I didn't think they fit too well over there. So I just want to move them over here and I think this looks a lot better. It works a lot better. So I have tons of animals which is really really good. I'm thinking about making a chicken farm here soon uh, just so we could get a better food source. And then I also would like to make a sheep farm so we could get wool which would be really great, but um, right now, you know, nothing's super automated. I'm so bad with redstone, you guys. I really need to learn more redstone, but we're going to be doing that in this series quite a bit. That's going to be like kind of our, our redstone learning process, but we'll see. We'll get into that here soon. But for today's episode, we want to head off in this direction. And what I'm going to be building is I'm going to build a windmill. Now, I'm super excited about this. I actually got a comment on my last video and someone suggested to build a windmill because this is kind of a farming village type place. Um, I want it to be heavily oriented around farming and a, a windmill fits perfectly. And when I saw that comment, I was like, wow, that, that's such a great idea. So I was thinking right up here, right on top of this little area right here would be the perfect spot for our first windmill. And what I wanted to do was actually make it a enchanting room. So a windmill slash enchanting area because I really want to get into enchanting. So I think this would be the perfect, perfect, perfect place. And I'm excited to get into it. So I need to collect a little bit of resources and do a little bit of a layout. And then I'll come back with you guys. We'll start building this thing and it's going to be super awesome. Alright guys, so I am back and I've got a little bit of a layout here to what our thing is going to look like. We also have our horses running around. Well, these aren't 
are horses. They're just kind of the horses around this area. And there's a lot of horses. Like you guys can see off in that direction. There's so many horses. But this is the layout. It basically, it's just five going across and then two and then another five and then two and then five and then two and it kind of goes around in a circle so it looks really nice now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go around and just fill these in and then put a piece of wood on top so just kind of, I wanted to show you guys what the outline looked like um, but as long as I do this I should know kind of what what I had going on here and I think what I'm gonna have to do as well is a little bit of terraforming because this is a pretty tight squeeze we've got this building right along this edge here and I don't know how I'm going to do you know walkways or paths if like if there's edges on each side of the building so we're gonna have to figure something out for that but that's that's super easy to fix so something like this wood wood and then it kind of comes across by four so I don't do too much building with you guys here on camera. I kind of like to do progress update type videos when it comes to building because I don't know. Sometimes I just get in a train of thought where I need to really, really focus when I'm building. Now this build is going to be pretty tricky, pretty challenging. Um, I, d I don't have a plan for it yet. And I've been looking at pictures to kind of get ideas on what windmills look like. And there's so many different types and different... Um, I don't know people have done it so many different ways so I'm hoping we can kind of come up with something pretty cool for our way of doing this but we'll see we'll see all right guys so I just spent a little bit of time in a creative testing world and I kind of wanted to redesign this because I didn't know what direction I was going and I don't know I was gonna kind of go just on my own whim and be like you know what we're just gonna do whatever comes to mind first and that wasn't really working out too well for me so you know I, I went into a world I went into a creative world and I was like you know what I'm gonna really plan this out really think about what I want to do and I came up with something that I'm super proud of that I think is super cool I think you guys are gonna like this and I think this entrance is a lot better looking than the other one so hopefully this works pretty well I think it looks good and it's basically just gonna be the same on every single side so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get this done really quick a little bit off camera and then I'll come back with you guys and show you all of the different sides and we are back guys so I've gotten everything done and you can see this looks pretty sweet so we have it on all four sides we can head over to this side now this side doesn't have an entryway so it might look a little a little different a little funny we also need to add trap doors to these sides so I think I'm gonna do all of the little details like that towards the end but you guys can see I added some detail here I also did all of the roofing which looks pretty good and then what I did was I took a block off the top and then added some of the oak wood here so I'll hop up and this is what it looks like on the inside. So basically our enchanting station is going to be right there down in the center of this. Now I wanted to go through and add some more detail with you guys. Now I'm just going to do little bits of detail here and there with you guys. I'm not going to do the whole thing because it'll be very tutorial like and very, I, I don't know, I tend to lose my train of thought and I don't want that to happen um, while we're kind of doing this here. But what I'm going to do is take my dark oak and go along the sides just like this so we can do something like that something like that so when it comes to this building we want it to have layers so we need it to kind of go out then in then back out again you guys will see what I'm talking about here very soon um, I also need man I need more oak wood this is the thing I'm running out of the most like that there we go so that's perfect so we want all of these to be facing outward and I'm just gonna put them right next to all of the dark oak planks so it looks kind of like this so far and we're going to head back up to the top. Now we want to start the second layer of this build. So what I've been doing is kind of hopping over here and we just want to go back by one and then we want to go up by three here. So just like that and you can see that, that it's starting to go back and in a layer. So it looks kind of weird right now. It's going to look a lot better. This will go up by four and it's gonna have supports it's gonna look it's gonna look cool I promise I promise you guys it's gonna look pretty awesome once it's done but what we can do is take out these dirt blocks here and again I'm running out of oak wood no this is bad um, oak wood is seriously the thing that I've been running out of the most so I do need to figure out something I think what I want to do in the future is set up a tree farm now, like I told you guys before, I'm not good at redstone, so I might have to look up a tutorial or something for some tree farmage, but I think 
we should be able to manage and make something pretty cool. So I think what we'll do is just like this and then we'll come across here with some stone brick. Now I was meaning to ask you guys, so I'm a huge fan of Hermitcraft. A lot of you guys know that I, I watch a lot of the Hermits on a pretty daily basis. And are any of you guys watching Hermitcraft? And if so, what do you guys think about AFK fish farms? Because I know it's a big topic on Hermitcraft that they've been talking about. And I just kind of wanted to see your guys' opinions on what you think of AFK fishing and AFK fish farms. Because personally, I think they can be pretty cool. Um, but I don't necessarily think from the start you should have one which is why I haven't built one yet because it's really cool you can get like mending books from fishing and things like that but I don't know I almost feel like that's kind of cheaty like I don't know it just seems like if you if you want to ch enchant right off the bat and stuff like that then I definitely say go for it that's awesome like if you want a bunch of enchanted books and like mending just like way way soon um I say go for it, but personally, like for this series, I don't think I'm going to build one for a while because I just want to play the game like really relaxed and I want to kind of work my way up to those more advanced things like mending and things like that. So I don't know. What do you guys think about that? I've been thinking about that a lot lately and there's been a couple times where I'm like, you know what, maybe I'll just make an AFK fish farm, but I don't know. I've just been very, very hesitant about it. So... I really would like to get into villager breeding though. I think that could be really cool because uh, villager breeding is, to my, to what I've kind of heard, it, it can be really challenging. It can be quite hard. So I think I want to get into that. I think that'd be pretty cool for an upcoming episode. But this is looking pretty good. I need to collect a little bit more oak wood. So I'll be back with you guys once I've got this a little bit more built up, a little bit more advanced. And yeah, so I'll see you guys soon. I feel like I always start back from this angle, but this is kind of the, the angle I've been working with the most. Um, so we're back and I've gotten quite a little bit done. So just the top bit, I wish I could show you guys what this actually looks like. This isn't the greatest angle, so let's see here. I can pop up maybe a little bit. There we go. Now you guys can get a better idea of that second layer there. But this is looking pretty good. So we have one more layer to do on the top. But what I wanted to do was do our nifty little switch over to shaders so you guys can see what this looks like in shaders. And um, yeah, let's do that really quick. So here we go. We are going to switch to shaders right now. All right, guys. So here we are. We're in shaders and I did bring my dog along with me. So he's kind of chilling, just protecting me here while we're building. And let's see. Let's hop up really quick. Oh, I'm trying to eat. Okay. And let's see. So this is what it looks like in shaders. Now, I think it looks pretty cool. I'm super happy with it. I think it looks awesome. So now what I need to do is just, like I said, build the top part and then the actual windmill. So that's going to be quite hard, but I think it should be pretty good. It is so much harder to build these types of things in survival than it is creative. I, I think I've said that maybe two or three times here on my channel before, but it truly is. It really, really is. Um, cause you have to plan things, you have to use the scaffolding and things get crazy, but this is looking good. So I think I need to do a little bit more work. I'm sorry that this has been very, you know, progress update type video. I haven't done too much block for block building on this specific build, but I'm trying to make it very detailed and I want it to be the best that it can be. So once I'm done, I'll kind of go through every single block with you guys. But as for right now, um, I do need to get some more work done. So I'll be right back with you guys once I've got that done. This thing should be almost ready to go. We'll do the windmill on camera together. And then after that, we should be pretty good. A lot of work has been done in between this clip and the last clip. So I've done a lot. And this is what our windmill little tower thing is starting to look like. It's looking fantastic. I love it. I love it. Now the last thing we need to do is just put the windmill on and we'll be good to go. Oh, we also, well, I mean, we also need to put the enchanting station in and everything like that. So we're gonna do that towards the end, but you guys can take a look at this, check it out. I think it looks pretty good. I want to uh, head up here really quick and show you guys what it looks like. So we'll take a step back here and here we go. So this is what it looks like now. The roof is kind of cool. I'm not sure if it looks a little too 
big, but I think it evens out the bottom pretty well, so I think it'll work. There's still a little bit of detail that I want to go back and add, but for right now, I think it's good. So we're going to put the windmill off on that side. Now, I found a really good tutorial here on YouTube from EB Productions. I'll put a link to this video in the description to where I found a windmill design that I really liked. Now, um... I am going to be kind of replicating somebody else's windmill because I didn't know the first thing about doing a windmill design and I wanted it to be really interesting. So I found one that I thought was really cool for you guys and I think you guys will really like this. So full credit goes out to EB Productions on the actual windmill. Now the building was designed by myself. So um, the only thing that's being, you know, replicated is that windmill and we're going to put it right there. You guys can see I have some logs sticking out. I'm going to sleep really quick once the sun goes down and then we'll start doing this thing in the daylight. Alright guys, so the way we want to do this is we want to pillar up and I think my inventory is so cluttered right now, it's kind of ridiculous. Alright, so we're going to head up and we're going to get this thing started. So we're going to go right here and we're going to head up, but let's see. Okay, so we want to start here and we want to take our oak wood and we want to come out by two on each side so two on this side hopefully we can reach that there we go two on the bottom we'll have to go uh down to get that one but that's okay and we'll kind of come out over here we want to go two on that side and then of course two on the top and actually i just remembered we want to move this back by one so it's got sort of a knob to it um here on the end so going back by one, we actually want to come out this way. So there we go. Now we've got two on all of the sides. Next thing we want to do is we want to come out on each side by two as well. So going like this and then using that dirt block as a filler, we can kind of put two more down and then we'll have to do one more out. But we'll do that here in a second. So we just want to come onto every side. This is so, so, so difficult when you need to... Uh, use the scaffolding. So then for this one, we just want to put a block there coming out by two and then we'll even do this last one right here. We just want to come out by one. So putting a filler there and we'll put a block there. Then we want to do the top one and the top one's actually going to come out on this other side. So kind of heading in this direction, put a filler there, put two going up. So you can see this one kind of goes up this way and then this one kind of goes up that way. And then this one is actually going to kind of go down the other way. So you guys will see once it's done that it makes this really nice windmill in motion type look. So then we'll put one right there. Take these blocks down. So the pattern is two, two, one. And I think what I'm going to do while we're up here is I'm actually going to put in the wool and the fence posts that we do need. So let's see here. We're going to need a little bit of fence and a little bit of wool. So we want to do fence post there, fence post there, and then we also want one right on top, like that. There's no real pattern to follow when you put the wool in. Now he used white and gray in his tutorial, which I thought looked really, really nice. So I want to keep with that theme and do white and gray as well. So we're going to stick white there. Let's do two whites there. And then we'll do gray gray and then right up there on top needs to be one more gray one so just like this and that fence post will attach so we've got this we've got a couple gray pieces in on top here of our windmill so we just want to go in and fill the rest of the spots so we've got two then three then two you guys can see here two then three then two so it follows a really nice pattern it's it's super simple super easy and i don't think we'll be needing any more of this so we can take this down so now we just need to do this uh, right side one and then this bottom one here. So for this one, it needs to it needs to look like it's heading downward. So we want to do this, two, two, put a placeholder, and then that last one just like that. Then we'll just put another white one there and another white one there. So it looks pretty good. So we've got the two, the three, and the two. Just making sure we go through and make everything even so that it looks nice. And then let's see here. So then we need to go, this one still needs the last one on the bottom. And then all of our wood pieces go on this side. So we'll need to put one on the bottom. We just need to get a little bit lower before we do that. And then we'll hop down one and do a white. And then this thing is done. We are all done with our windmill, which is awesome. So then I think what we should be able to do is we can just go whoop, put a white one there and the fence post. And then we'll take a step back and we'll look at this thing. So I'm going to run over here. 
All right, in five, four, three, two, one, big reveal. Here we go. Yeah, that looks so awesome. I'm so happy with this, and I hope you guys really like this. This is my first ever windmill, so personally, I I don't know if I did it justice. I hope I did, because I think this thing looks freaking crazy awesome. So I hope you guys really like it, but this was kind of my rendition on a windmill, and I gotta figure out something to do on the back. I'll have to figure that out here soon, but I think the windmill looks pretty good. Thank you again to EB Productions for posting a video on how to do a windmill, because without that, I honestly would have had no idea where to start. Again, thank you to that tutorial for helping me out. If you guys ever feel stuck, honestly, like look at my tutorials or, you know, look at other people's tutorials. They can really, really, really help you out, give you some inspiration. Like I said, this isn't a replica. Um, the design of the actual building is my design, but at the same time, you know, I did use a little bit of help in order to make that windmill, and I think it pulls the whole thing together. So the next thing I'm going to do is a little bit of interior, a little bit of exterior, and um, I'll come back with you guys once I've got this fully decorated and everything's looking good. So I am back and I've done all of the decorating. It's looking pretty sweet. We'll go in in just a second. I'll show you guys what the inside looks like. But I added this little tail fin type thing kind of to counterbalance the windmill, but I'm not sure that I like it. Like, I don't know exactly what it is <laughs> or I, I don't know. I don't th I don't think I necessarily like it. So that thing right here might change in between episodes. I got to do some tinkering and figure some things out. Now, I wanted to go into spectator mode and show you guys what this looks like and all the little details because as for right now on the ground I can't really show you guys all of the the really cool details that are in this build so you guys will see here right now I'm gonna go into spectator mode we can go open to land allow cheats on and you can see it gives me my thing gotta remember which one it is okay there we go so game mode three you guys can see it says your game has been updated to spectator mode so we can fly but you guys can see i can't cheat anything in so i'm just a floating head i can't like these are all the items i had before i'm not going to cheat anything in i just want to go into spectator so you guys can actually see the full effect of this build so here we go let's check it out so this is the thing over here that i'm not super happy with i guess you could say i don't know what to do with it or what to add to this end but maybe i'll just do another window or something out the back i don't know but i thought it would be kind of cool to counterbalance this and i don't think it really does it effectively so i'll probably change this later but going up to the roof this is what the roof looks like and there we go you can see it hangs out from this wood piece here and then we've got some detail here in the top then each of these have little flower beds which looks really nice and then i used gray stained glass you can actually go in there. Um, there's not a staircase up to the top floor yet, but I might add that later. Then this middle section has just got some windows and it goes all the way down into the enchanting station. So there's only two floors, this very top floor and the very bottom floor. So I'm going to change the time really quick um, just so you guys can actually see this. But there's lots and lots of detail in here. We've got some stairs, we've got the dark oak, and then some fence posts here. Then the smaller roofs look like this. And they kind of stick out just a little bit. And then I added all of these little um, trap doors to the sides. So this is a pretty, pretty complex build. I don't know. It's It took me quite a long time. Uh, but I think it turned out really, really good. And I hope you guys like this because it's very different than anything. You know, it's, it's definitely more complex than our starter house over there. But I think they both look like they could fit together, which is really nice. So then over here is the windmill. I'll show you guys this. I did show it on camera so you guys got to learn along step by step how this was built. But this looks pretty cool. And then over here we just have some doors. These doors actually don't go anywhere. They don't open into anything. They actually open into cobblestone walls. But I thought they would add a nice detail to the side. So I just added some doors. And then now for the inside. So you guys are going to have to help me out a little bit. Now I'm not too familiar with enchanting because like I said before on my channel, I mainly do creative. I, I've always done creative or mods. So I'm not super familiar with the way enchanting works, but I think this setup should work. As long as you have the correct number of books, 
um, it should still give off that level 30 enchant. Now, I don't have 30 levels to show you guys an enchant. And then again, over here, I have all of my lapis. So that's just kind of how it goes. And then we can look up and that's the top floor. And then this is kind of the second floor with all the windows and it's looking pretty good. I've got two crafting stations and some carpet. Now, I'm not sure if this carpet is going to affect the enchanting at all. I'm not sure what affects enchanting, so I'm going to have to do a little research. And if this design doesn't work, then I'll have to change it. But I did one enchant on this um, this iron axe and I got efficiency too. Now, I didn't have 30 levels, so it only gave me... The option of efficiency too but I'm gonna have to see here soon um, and see if this thing works if not I'm gonna completely change it we'll go back to the OG setup of of enchanting but yeah should be pretty good so this is it this is my windmill I hope you guys like it now I do need to make some paths so I'm probably going to connect the main house to our little windmill over here in between episodes we'll kind of see how that works out but this is pretty cool. Look at our area. It's coming along. We've got some crazy shader shader glitch going on, but we're going to go into survival mode. You guys can see nothing changed. Um, so here we go. But that is going to have to be it for today's episode, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope you really enjoyed this video. This was a personal favorite. I really, really like the way that our new windmill turned out, and I hope you guys liked it too. But stay tuned for the next episode. I actually might be recording back to back again. So um, hopefully I'll get you guys feedback here soon on whether you like this episode or not. But stay tuned for more episodes. This has been such a fun series to record and I can't wait to do more exploring and recording. We have so much to work towards for this series. So I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. I hope you all have a very beautiful, wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye guys. And